Hello Grade 8s. This video is meant to be a little overview of using Polypad, but it's also meant to help you insert a screenshot into your Nearpod presentation instead of drawing tiles, which can get quite messy. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate over to Polypad. And it's from Mathagon, so it would be the Mathagon website. You're going to go over to Tiles, then down to Algebra, and we'll see some Algebra tiles here. Uh, we are not using the x squared or negative x squared. You will in grade 9. In grade 7 and 8, we mostly stick with the x and negative x and 1 and negative 1. And we're going to insert that into uh, this poly pad here. Now, we are not going to be solving an equation today. We're simply just going to be modeling it. So the equation that I'm going to model is 3x plus 3 is equal to 6. Now I've typed that in. Um, I'm going to make that a little larger so we can see it quite easily. I'm going to use this tool called the line tool to represent our equals. And I'm going to come over here and start pulling in our tiles to represent the equation. So 3x, so 3x, and then positive 3. 1, 2, 3. So 3x plus 3 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have 6. Now, like I said, we're not going to be finishing this equation or solving it. Uh, we are just going to be taking a screenshot. Now, there's two ways of taking a screenshot that are going to be important to you. The first way for using a laptop is to come down here to the Windows button and navigate down to... Windows Accessories, open up the Snipping Tool. Um, I'm going to use the Snip and Sketch. The Snipping Tool is a little bit outdated. Click New, screen goes dark, and we're going to highlight what we need or what we want to capture. And I'm going to save that. I'll call this um, uh, Mr. C Trial and click Save so I can find that later. If you are using a Chromebook, which many of you are, the process is a little different. In fact, it's a lot easier. Uh, I did upload a video from YouTube onto your classroom, which you can uh, watch. It's only a minute long. Um, but when you take a screenshot using uh, that method, it just uh, it saves to your uh, recent pictures, which you can then insert into the Nearpod presentation. So this next step will be the same. So you're going to go over to your Nearpod and we have the same equation. Um, instead of you know drawing it, which can get quite messy, you are going to uh, insert a picture. So let me get rid of that mess I just made. And we're going to come down here to our lower toolbar. And you're going to click Insert Picture. And I'm going to click Browse. You would do the same. Now, if you're using a Chromebook, this ne next step will look different, but you're just going to find the picture that you took. So in this case, I already have the desktop pictures file open, and I'm going to find the one that I just took, Mr. C Trial. I'm going to op it, open it and put it in into our uh, Nearpod, and that's it. There's your answer. Now, if you're using the Chromebook, like I said, it'll most likely be in your recent files document. It should be your most recent file, and you just insert that. So hopefully that helps you out because we are going to be using uh, Nearpod and Polypad quite a bit during this unit. Uh, and again, if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to email me at any time and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you very much.